What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. If you've been following along with this girl what? If I don't go on today, you're gonna see a grown man cry. I've been going step by step. My thing is I didn't buy a 48 volt battery with a bat with a BMS already attached. I made my own LG Chem Pack. That's 14 batteries in series. And there's a daily BMS. I could not get this daily BMS. Watch that video of how to get this 14 string, 48 volt, 100 amp daily BMS working. It's connected to my Bluetooth right here. And it has each voltage from every battery, total voltage, total over uh, discharge. Connect on that, it's connected. There it is right there, all right? Either way, watch my video on that. The, connecting this daily BMS right here. 14 strings okay if 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 your dally bms is not con right if it is not awake you do not get power to this power out right here the power out is the negative actually it's not the power out it's a negative because this dally bms controls your batteries from the negative side the negative comes out the battery into here these connect to the positive of every single battery and then the negative comes out to go to your grow watt inverter now, if you're thinking that you're going to get your charge this and start this up with your grow out inverter, it's not going to happen. If your BMS is not on, your grow watt will not recognize the 48 volt battery and you need a, this is a 48 volt system. So that's why you need a 48 volt battery. If this doesn't recognize there's an active 48 volt battery, you will not be going on. You'll be spinning your wheels. Even if you plug it into the grid, it will not go on unless it already knows the battery that's there. So i do have this is a a, a resistor so i am going to charge this with the resistor even before i oh whoa, whoa, whoa. the battery sits in there that's why it's on the dolly right now look boop, 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 boop. so this is the negative but i have the nmc cables this is from the battery this goes to the grow watt this is to the grid this is to whatever i need the power okay so Right now, I'm going to connect the two NMC cables. Then this is the negative. I'm going to hit the negative and leave it on there so I can charge the transformer in there. Okay, I have a 70 amp breaker. Why is it a 70 amp breaker? Because this is uh, copper clad aluminum right here. And the highest amperage this is supposed to be is 75. So I got a 70 amp breaker in there. All right, so I know this is on because my it's on it's working right now the maximum voltage is 3.4 volts per battery minimum is 3.776 and there's a total voltage of the battery oh 53.3 volts i'm getting out this battery right here okay so what i'm gonna do is plug in these nmc cables right here i also have a video of how to put these together so Oh, it's the rubbers in there so they're not snapped okay so those are on right now so now i gotta turn this on right here so that's on right here i should be getting power to right here and i have my multimeter let me check it out to make sure i'm getting power to right here this is on i click this in this is on so there's hot right here and that's the negative so if you look at the multimeter right there i'm going to touch those two together so at the end of that breaker it's 53.4 volts okay so this right here is what's going to make this grow watt system live although it's not going to go live yet because i gotta charge it with the resistor all right let's put this on so let's see so with this resistor i'm going to hook it onto one part right here and then this other part right here i'm not touching i'm just holding the resistor I'm going to plug it in. It's on. So I'm charging the resistor now. You see? It recognized the battery. If your BMS is not on, it would not recognize the battery. It's sensing a fault because there's a resistor in here. And I'm just charging that. So right here it's saying 46 volts that is what it's getting. So that's charged. So what I'm going to do is take this off and plug it into the grow watt now. All right. So you see the grow watt is on. The grow watt is on. It's at 53 volts. It's all, all it says input. 
there's no input yet it's not plugged in it says 119 120 volts that's for the transformer in there the only thing plugged in right now is this battery right here so now i'm going to connect it to the grid so this one right here is to connect it to the grid this is the front one right here and this goes in right here so now it lit up that's it's in grid and it's capable of doing 120 volts okay so now it's in the grid ac input and if you don't have your bms on it will not recognize this right here so the grid right now is charging the battery right here so now i gotta get the manual to charge the settings in there so because it'll do the max voltage here now the good thing is the bmx has the bms has the automatic cutoff but this is charging the battery right now let's see what this says right here let me turn this on the bat it's balancing all the batteries the current coming in right now 16.7 amps is the current coming in right now and it's the balance is on so it's balancing the batteries right now 17 degrees celsius so it's battery so what i gotta get the manual for is for this right here because this right here will actually uh i can set the parameters now so i want to go into user defined so let me set this right here I gotta put the battery in here, that's why it's really light. Oh shit, I hit the fan. Okay, let me get this set up. I'm gonna put weight in here now because the battery's sitting right there. Then I gotta go ahead and get the uh, manual. Okay, so here we are. It's in the... It's home. That's a 48 volt LG Campact battery. Dally BMS, which is connected. The battery is at 54.8 volts current right now at 0 0.06 amps and that's because it's running the grow watt system right there uh you see in the grow watt system it has the battery as 56 54.7 volts right here it is plugged into the grid right now okay but if grid power is not available it should be able to maintain now say the grid power shuts off grid power shuts off i'm running at 54.7 volts okay so i should be able to plug something in and it should stay running with this right here so what i'm going to do right now unplug one of my lights right here see this is my light right here and then i have this output right here so i could plug that light into this output and voila the light is on and that's a 120 volt outlet light but it's plugged into the grow watt okay so there's nothing charging this right now now those lg chem pads can sit there for a long time but my next videos coming up are going to be how long those can power a deep freezer how long those can power a refrigerator how long those can power whatever okay so now the current is drawing is one amp is what is drawing out of here about one amp so when it's charging it goes into balance mode when it's charging this is the dally bms right here with the bluetooth dongle right here all right now this whole grow watt system right here like i said it's charging is you know what as a matter of fact let me unplug this one right here and then we will go ahead and plug it into the other side right here so now both my both my lights right here are going off with this battery right here they got regular plugs right here and they're going off of this right here they're drawing anywhere from 0.9 to 2 amps there's 54 volts in there the battery is at 99 percent that's an lg chem pack that i made myself 14 battery in series all right this dally bms i just shot a video of how to connect it and turn it on this thing is crystal cool if the dally bms is not on if it's not awake you have to wake it up that thing will get really hot this thing is crystal cool now that it's working. The, the what is this? The B minus goes to the battery itself. The P minus is in a negative line and goes to the output. I have it connected to an NMC connector, which goes into the negative, goes to the grow watt. The positive comes into a 70 amp breaker. 
the 70 amp breaker is a 70 amp breaker because aluminum copper clad aluminum has a 75 amp continuous so i put it in a 70 amp breaker right here that's the negative that's the positive for the grow watt this is the the front is the out is uh, the, to the grid for the grid to charge it the back is for your power output your power output right here so my battery right now is 54.6 volts the grow watt is putting out 120 amps now this right here is for the vol photovoltaic i do have solar panels although last night the windshield was minus 30 so i'm not putting up those solar panels right now now you got a bluetooth for your bms and your bluetooth is saying everything that's happening here if that battery is lowering down or draining you could actually plug it into the grid if there is no power available this grow watt will not back feed into the grid it will not go back into the grid what i do have it on is a dolly in case i need to move it, it is completely on the dolly right here i just put this together for right now when i get the i got a, a pv combiner i bought a I got four 12 volt solar panels and what a lot of people told me is don't waste any more money on 12 volt by 24 volt solar panels now my pv combiner box can handle up to 2800 watts so i know my pv combiner box can do that and i'm probably use 10 gauge wire to come into here from the pv combiner box so it's solar i can charge this and charge these batteries and if I ever need it as a backup generator, I will have power. As you can see, my lights are working off these batteries right now. I'm going to do the fish tank and everything in later videos. I'm going to plug a refrigerator in this and let's see how long that refrigerator runs. All right. Either way, that right there is starting to grow watt right here. I do have the user manual and I do have cliff notes. A lot of it, when I got this battery plugged into it right here. Oh, this battery and this BMS plugged into it, believe it or not. I have this set at user defined, but it did not let, let me change the settings for this battery right here. So you see I had these two lights on and it's dropped 0.1% point, of the voltage. So this is a backup battery generator that I have made step by step with you. You've seen my trials, my tribulations. It is on, it is running lights are running it is not plugged into anything it is completely going off that battery that i made and that battery should be able to power a refrigerator and now i can start putting those batteries in parallel not series in parallel and building up storage all right either way talk to you later subscribe like and share one more time going over this 14 lg chem packs in series hooked up to a dally bms dally bms i turned this on that's in my last video the dally bms controls your batteries from the negative line so one negative goes to the battery your b negative goes to the battery negative the main one your p negative goes to your output supply i have it connected to an nmc cable where i could discharge it and there's plugs right here from the nmc cable the negative goes into the grow watt the positive goes into a 70 amp breaker i can shut this off right here boom no more power coming to this if you do not have enough voltage or your bms is not on if this grow watt does not recognize any battery connections even if you're plugged into the grid it will not go on all right so all this is done except for the solar panels which ain't going on till the summertime now i can start putting batteries in series i mean in parallel in parallel and they will all store power in case of a power outage i will be able to power my house with this right here well up to 3000 watts per hour with this right here 3000 kilowatt hours okay so i am looking at big battery i'm thinking about buying the 1.8 kilowatt hour from big battery to check that out and then those you can go eight in parallel to store power this is just a backup generator this is not powering anything in my house and believe it or not the most power i'm using this in my house is the, all my dang fish tanks and heaters cost 25 oh well, let me turn some lights on because uh that fish tank does look it's not actually a fish tank it's actually a crab tank a marble crayfish tank but uh this right here is plugged in 
Let's see, I got the filter on. This has the heater in it. I got my battery charger on, a battery charger, and that deep freezer. And it's all plugged into the grow wire right now. All that is just running off a of battery. Right there. Now that's running off the battery. It's on the dolly. I moved it back over here. There's still 54.2 volts running out of that grow wire inverter. But if you watch my videos, deep freezers don't use a lot of power at all. They rarely go on because you rarely open and close them. If anything, I believe this tank is going to be the, the really uh, energy consuming tank because there's a lot of water right here and that got a 75 or 100 watt heater in it right there. But all my tanks combined with this deep freezer is $25 a month. But here we go right here. No solar array. If I had the solar array, that'll be going first. It'll be using solar first while charging the battery. And then when the sun goes down, then it'll go off the battery. And if there's no more battery, then it'll go off the grid. But this is right here, just a solar battery backup system where I'm powering a fish tank and a deep freezer right now off of this. And it's still going okay. I mean, my next video that I'm going to be doing, let's power the refrigerator. All right. Talk to you later. Subscribe, like, and share.